Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning level 8 framework tutorial. This is our partner 49. Inside this video, we will discuss about has one through relationship. In the last two videos, we had discussed all about one to one and one to many relationship. As well as we had discussed the inverse of one to one and one to many. Now to understand all about has one through relationship, go to the next step. So let's say that we have a chain like this. Simply, if we are taking the real time example, let's say that I want a home. So first of all, I need to contact with a broker. And finally, after discussion means lots of discussion with a broker, then broker finds a home and a lot to me. So finally, consider a table of person, a broker and a home. Inside person table, we are going to store the person's information like person 1, person 2 and their current location. In the broker table, we are going to store the broker information like broker name, broker mobile number and all other informations. Inside homes table, let's say we have a home at a different address, we have home to some other different address. So if someone wants a home, first of all, he or she needs to contact with a broker and then finally broker finds a home and a lot to this person. So inside this chain, we are indirectly contacting this home. But inside this chain, we have a mediator called broker. So inside this, person flows to this home but through broker. So this is has one through relationship. It means person has a home through broker. So let's take an example with the help of model space concept inside Laravel. So back to database. So now this is the database. Inside this database we have a people table which is a plural version of person. So inside this people table we have called person1, person2 if I make some zoom. So inside this table we have person 1, person 2 and person 3 and their current locations. This is all about the table which is storing the user's detail. Let's say person's detail. If you go to the next tab. Now here we have the second table which is storing the broker's information. Here we have the broker name, broker mobile number and inside this table we have person ID. Person ID is nothing, it's a foreign key attachment with the ID column of this people table. It means the person, person 1 is attached with this broker 2. If you go here, person 2 is attached with this broker 1. It means, suppose I am person 1. If I need a home, then I need to contact with this broker 2. Now next, we have a homes table and inside this homes table we have the column as name, address and broker id. As we can see inside this name we have the home name. Let's say home 1, home 2 and inside this address field we have the address of 1 means let's say for the home 1, address 2 for the home 2 and home 1 is attached with the broker id 1. Broker ID is nothing, it's a foreign key and it is attached with the ID column of this broker's table. Here let's say that broker 2 which has ID of 2 is attached with this home 2 address and its location. So indirectly as we can see that this person 1 whose ID equals to 1 is attached with this broker 2 and broker 2 is attached with this home to. It means if we want let's say if person 1 wants to know about the home 1 let's say home address and its name so it contacts with this broker 2 with this person means person id foreign key and then broker 2 allots this home 2 address to person 1. So we are going to use has one through relationship. So how can we do? So back to editor First of all, we want three models. The first model is for people table. Let's say we are going to create a person model. Next model we want something broker. And the third model we want a home. 
So if I back to editor, go inside this app, models folder. So already I have created these three models. Here we can see that we have a person model which indicating or denoting all about people table. So if you go there and we have the model. Next we want the broker model. This is all about broker model which is indicating broker's table. Next we want all about home model. So inside this home model it is denoting all about home's table. So let's say that a person wants to know the home and the address. It means the person if you back to the chain. So person 1 wants to know the name and the location of this address but it will go through this broker. So how can we implement? Back to editor. Let's create a function. So public function let's say home address or home information simply we can say home information and inside this let's return this we're going to use has one through relationship and inside this we need to pass two class variables it means two classes so the first person wants to know all about this home so the first variable or let's say the first value we need to pass this home class but it will go through our broker so we need to pass the broker class as the second value so if we save all these changes back to let's say this controller and inside this list users we want to use and get the value so first of all if we load our model so let's say use we are going to load our person model we are going to load let's say broker model and we are going to load let's say we have our home model or if you don't want to load this broker and home it's all about ok because we are going to use this person model only so by the help of this model means person model we are going to fetch the home information means person wants to know the home information through broker so back to controller let's say that first of all return person we are going to select all the data so if we save all these changes back to web.php here we have the route called users and it is indicating all about the method let's say list users so if we save all these changes back to browser open up our development server and if I type the route called let's say users now as you can see that inside our database the person table indicating the people table and inside our people table we have three persons. Now we are going to implement has one through relationship so simply to use that from the last video we have all the concept. So let's return here we have let's say person we are going to use let's say find one and finally we are going to use this method as a property name so if I copy back to controller and pasting it here so if you understand one more time then person one is going to find the home information so back to table this person one is going to find the home information so first it will go inside this brokers table here we have the person ID equals to 1 and it is indicating broker 2 and broker 2 then find the home of this home 2 and allot to that person. So if I go here, reload this, now as we can see that we are getting the home 2 informations. So this is all about our has one through relationship. Again back here, let's say we are going to find this person 
to information means person 2 finds the home information if we go and reload this page this is all about home 1 so simply guys by the help of this chain and through the model based concept we understood all about has one through relationship so in the next video we will see all about has many relationship so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day